Hello everyone, this is Pierre, your Camdraw wizard, and in this video we're going to see how to draw this nice little structure on the right, under 10 minutes, using multiple tricks available in Camdraw. Tricks I'm sure you will find helpful, even if your research isn't about dendrimers. One reason for this video is I've had some long-standing requests to show how to easily draw dendrimers, and another reason is, I was browsing recently Stuart Cantrell's blog, who's the chief editor of Nature Chemistry, and the structure you see here is still to date one of the most challenging structures he's had to edit before publication, as you may probably guess from the title of the blog post. So now I will show you how to get that done under 10 minutes. But before we start, let's have a look at how the structure is built. Zooming in, we can see that we have a benzene core here with three branching points, another three, then another three, and finally another three adding up to a grand total of 81 benzene rings, that according to geometry should be separated by 4.444444 degrees relative to the center of the structure, which is not so easy to do manually. Before we start, let's make sure that we have enough space for the drawing. We can see in the document settings, I'm using two pages by two pages in a landscape format. Let's start with the basic pattern of the structure. We start with a benzene ring, go over this atom and press zero to get an extra carbon. Then we take the chain tool to add a few other ones. And then the single bond tool that we use to orient the last one up. We can go over this atom and then press nine, which will sprout two carbon atoms. Then we hit enter to start the text tool and get the silicon atom in. Finally, we go over this one and press O to get an oxygen. Now we select the structure and hold control, click and drag to generate duplicates. And with the selection tool, we select this carbon, hold shift for additive selection, click on this other atom and press control J to join them. We do the same here, click on this atom, hold shift, then click on this one and hit control J. And the very simple rule is the first atom that you select does not move. Now we add a benzene ring on top and we'll put this on the side for now and move on to the next part. The next part is the magic trick for which I'm going to take the chain tool and remember, if you hold control, the chain will follow your mouse. Here we draw a C81 chain because we need 81 benzene rings to be nicely displayed on the dendrimer. We take the single bond tool and close the chain to have a C81 cycloalkane. And I can even bring up the chemical formula to make sure we know what we're looking at. Now with the structure selected, we hit control shift K multiple times to clean up the structure. And this is actually as far as we can go by using the cleanup function on this molecule which is not so nice and round as you can see. So what's the magic trick? The magic trick is we're going to add a triple bond anywhere on the structure. And now we hit control shift K multiple times to clean up. What Kemdo will try to do is to have bonds as flat as possible next to the triple bond, resulting in this very nicely circular cycloalkyne as we see it on the screen. We can now go over the triple bond and press one to go back to a single bond. Here comes the next trick. We select the structure by double clicking on it and while selected, we press zero. Pressing zero is going to sprout a carbon atom out of every other atom selected, in our case, 81 carbon atoms. So there you have it, a neat circular structure on which we are going to position benzene rings that will be separated by 4.444444 degrees relative to the center of the structure. Next, we want to scale that structure up. So we select it and hit Control K to bring up the scaling window. I'm taking a shortcut here because I know that this structure needs to be scaled up by 192%. The larger structure is now going to serve as a ruler for the rest of the dendrimer. And we're going to overlap now the centers of both the circular structure and the core benzene ring. To do that, we select both of them through additive selection and press Control Shift Alt C, C for center which is going to align the centers of both objects vertically, followed by Control shift alt m M for middle, which will do the same horizontally. Next, we select the, only the circular structure by double clicking and rotate it so that one of the branches is well aligned with the last benzene ring of the repeating pattern. Once it's done, we can take the benzene ring tool and then start adding perfectly oriented rings that will be on the outer shell of the dendrimer. Normally, we would only need nine of them, but I'm putting 11 of them and you will understand why a bit later. What I can do from here is to erase the rest of the circular structure by deleting two of the bonds with the eraser tool and then double click with the eraser tool on the part of the molecule that we don't need anymore. 
Still with the eraser tool, we remove different bonds that we don't need so that we only have 11 benzene rings nicely oriented. Now we can go over the different carbon atoms and press zero to get additional CC bonds. And the next trick is how do we create two bonds perfectly aligned no matter their orientation? First trick is go over one atom and press eight. What that will do is sprout three CC bonds at a 90 degrees angle relative to each other so that you can delete the two that you don't need and then simply press O to get the oxygen. Second trick is go over this bond and press three to get a triple bond. I know it doesn't look very nice, but it will disappear soon. Once there is a triple bond, you can go over the carbon atom and press zero, which will brought a CC bond at the expected 180 degrees angle. Then we simply switch back to a single bond by pressing one over the triple bond, and then you add the oxygen by pressing O. Otherwise, you can also select all the carbon atoms and benzene rings and go to object settings with a right click and then change the chain angle from 120 to 180 degrees. What this will do is change the angle with which the new bonds are generated relative to the previous ones. And to illustrate that, we select all those carbon atoms with the lasso tool and then press O to turn them into hydroxyl groups. And while they're still selected, we press zero to spot a carbon atom from them. Since we changed the chain angle setting, they appear forming a 180 degrees angle relative to the other bond. Next step is to build the dendromer from the outside, and to do this we select this structure, hold control, click and drag to duplicate, and readjust the methyl groups here. What we do is to sprout a CC bond here, click on the carbon atom, hold shift, and click on the oxygen and hit control J to join. Remember the first one selected does not move. Once it is joined together, we simply rotate the selection a little bit so that the last bond is pointing towards the benzylic carbon. Once that is done, we hit Ctrl, then click and drag the selection on the other side and hit Ctrl Shift H to flip it horizontally. Then we sprout one bond over here with zero that we click to select, hold Shift, select the oxygen atom and hit Ctrl J again. Then with any selection tool, we stitch together the different carbons to the benzylic carbon. Next step is to repeat the same process. So we select that part of the molecule, Ctrl, click and drag, and then rotate by either double clicking on the rotation handle or hitting Ctrl R to bring up the rotation window. Geometry says that we should rotate it by 13.3333 degrees, which we do. And then we add a carbon here by pressing zero to sprout a bond, select it first, then additive selection of the oxygen and hit Ctrl J. Then we go over the remaining carbon atoms and press zero to sprout bonds that will go directly onto the oxygen atoms since they're close by. Then we select the lower part of the structure and point the last carbon towards the benzylic carbon. And we do the same thing on the other side. Select, click and drag, then Control Shift H to flip horizontal. Sprout a bond, click to select the carbon atom first, hold Shift and click on the oxygen, and then hit Control J. Once that is done, again, sprout some bonds by pressing zero and then stitch the bottom parts together. Then we take the entire structure by double clicking on it and by holding shift, we subtract the benzene ring from the selection. Now we repeat the same process, select, control, click and drag, and then hit control R and rotate in that case by 40 degrees. And what we are going to do here is to use the extra benzene rings as anchor points so we can select both carbon atoms that need to overlap and then hit Control Shift Alt R, R for right, followed by Control Shift Alt B, B for bottom. Then we select the entire structure by double clicking and we press F3 to send it to the back so that only the lone benzene ring is left to the front, which we can then select by double click and delete. We can remove this bond here again with the selection tool, isolate only that part of the molecule and rotate it so that it is pointing towards the benzylic carbon. Same process, we select the entire structure by double clicking, control, click and drag followed by control shift H to flip horizontal. And we'll do the same again, align those two carbons by clicking on one, hold shift, click on the other one, and then hit control shift alt B for bottom, followed by control shift alt L for left. Again, double click to select the entire structure, F3 to send it to the back and double click on the anchor benzene ring that is left to the front and delete it. Finally, stitch the rest of the molecule 
And now we're almost finished since we have one third of the dendrimer ready. We make a selection, zoom out, control, click and drag to make two copies, then double click on the rotation handle, go control R and rotate by 120 degrees, select the other one and repeat the same thing. Finally, what we're going to do is zoom in here, add to carbon atoms that are missing by sprouting with zero, and then select this one, hold shift, select the other one and hit control J. Remember the first one does not move. And now one last time, click on this atom, click on the other one and hit control J. And there you go, your own nice looking little dendrimer. If this is not beautiful, I don't know what that is. Okay, so before closing, if you have some challenging structures to draw for your publications, get in touch with me through the comments and that may become the topic of another video. Until then, thank you for watching this far. Please share this tutorial with your colleagues if you have found it useful. Now, thank you all for your attention. Have fun cam drawing and have a good one.